Well, when we were children, it was our parents and grandparents who healed our boo-boos. Well, now as adults, it's our turn to heal theirs. It's how we care for those we love and depend on. Well, with us this morning and continuing our mini-series on first aid wound care is Steve Keough, CEO of Pharmacline, an innovative pharmaceutical company devoted to healing wounds, preventing diseases, and improving lives. Welcome back, Steve. Thank you, Danielle. Glad to have you here. You're sharing some tips for uh, healthy elderly living, which I think is so important. Important, but you know when I think about my parents getting older and not being able to maybe care for themselves in some respects it really does hurt but as we get older a minor wound could really become a major problem yes. if not treated properly especially if we're dealing with a loved one let's say they have something like you know diabetes or vascular disease right yes and you know it's there are a couple of issues to keep in mind the psychological side sure you know a lot of folks who are elderly are very reluctant to have you take care of them or have someone else care for them and, and they also need their privacy, so it's a tough balance there. Mm -hmm. But on the physical side, a lot of people don't realize that there are several changes that occur that are really important to wound healing. For example, elderly people have more difficulty sensing pain frequently. Okay. And then frequently, the elderly skin structure is not as elastic, and it's thinner, so it's more susceptible to damage from infection. And then finally, their resistance to infection and their recovery patterns are quite different because they have different blood flow. The circulatory system is a little different, maybe not getting enough oxygen to those sites. Okay, so let's talk about some, some rules. Let's talk about the top five rules to follow when it comes to treating a wound at home. Okay. Prevent the bleeding. Stop the bleeding. Okay. Um, clean the wound. Uh, prevent infection by putting an antibiotic on there, and I'll come back to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm and maybe cover the wound, depending on where the cover wound it? is. Cover it? Okay. You know, some people say you should kind of leave it open, maybe? Yeah, and it just varies. Okay. Um, you know, uh, depending on what you put on it, but um, it can vary, but generally you want to just protect the wound in some way. Okay. So on the antibiotic front, it's really important that, particularly for elderly people, with the challenges I've mentioned already, the physical challenges, that you select an antibiotic that's hypoallergenic, that mm -hmm. doesn't create more allergies. Mm -hmm. And I'll give you an example of that. Just this past summer, the Journal of Emerging Infectious Diseases, which is published by the Centers for Disease Control on their website, showed an article where using triple antibiotics so much in North America that we now have uh, a problem where there's a new strain of resistant oh, pathogens, uh, staph infections, that is immune to uh, the triple antibiotics. And so a lot of people don't know that. Right. That there are various issues like this. You have to be careful to choose the right medications and be sure that they are, are working. Well, let's talk about your products, which I happen to love, by the way, Tisseclin Plus and Dibeclin. They can help prevent skin infections, I know that. But are both of these antibiotic ointments safe to use on sensitive skin? Because you talked about this with the elderly. You know, they can have skin ulcers, cancer sores, any, any number of things. Yes, we've used them very effectively, and we know of no problems. Uh, we've used them on 76-year-old diabetics. We've used them on a 92-year-old diabetic. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've also, more importantly, done a lot of safety studies and at one of the, the leading pharmacy schools in the United States, we tested these products against various skin types. We also found the tissue reaction to our products mm -hmm. was very gentle in that it was the same reaction as if we had put baby shampoo on Aww. the skin. So very, very uh, benevolent, but very powerful antibiotic right there, too. We definitely want to baby our loved ones. They mean a Absolutely. lot to us. All right, so let's <laughs> be clear. Uh, what are the differences between Pharmacline's topical antibiotics and standard, what you mentioned earlier, triple antibiotics? Well, the triple antibiotics, as their name implies, have three active agents. And usually there are a few of those that create aller allergies or allergic reactions. And sometimes up to 20% of the population cannot use those, mm. which a lot of people don't know. We only use one active agent, and it's a historically safe profile, tetracycline. But because of our ointment that delivers this through the skin, all types of skin, uh, very efficiently and very effectively, it has a very rapid kill, 
of various broad spectrum of bacteria and pathogens, and it also is very gentle to the skin. I love that. Steve, always good information and always good to see you. Thanks, Thank Danielle. Thank you for stopping Thank by. you very much. Mm -hmm. And for more information on PharmaCline's first aid antibiotic ointments, simply go to the website pharmacline.com.